on this Saturday morning. Time to imagine it with Carl Nelson. He's the chief scientist for the Imagination Station. And what's the frequency, Carl? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. <laughs> exactly. I brought with me the simplest musical instrument you can probably think of. It's an aluminum plate on a stick, have a bow. All right, that's actually a musical instrument. Well, I'm calling it. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Once you hear it, you may not call it that. Right? There you okay, go. So it's, it's not very. It's not a pleasant sound, right? It sounds like something you hear in shop. Yeah, and you can get a couple different notes out of it. Ooh. Ah, right. yee. But the real question for me is not the beautiful sounds, but how is the plate vibrating? Okay. Okay, how do we figure out how the plate is vibrating? And there's a really simple way to do this. Take this little shaker of sand. This is not cinnamon. Nope, no, no cinnamon, just and up oop, high. Oop, yeah, oop, yeah, we oop, want really yeah. nice coating. Nice, even thin coating, coating. Yeah. Thin, thin coating of sand. And this we is are going to have sand everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's okay. A little bit more. A little, little, bit little more. more. A little more. Okay. And this is something that a German ah, uh, physicist it, back no. in the 1700s actually came up with as a way of examining how the plate vibrates. That's okay. pretty good. Okay. So here we go. So we get the plate to vibrate. I don't know if you can see that. You get a oh my nice gosh. pattern on the plate. That's wild. Okay. And that pattern, load me up again. All right. That pattern is specific to the size of the plate, the note that you're getting in the on the plate when we draw the bow against it really? and the material. And in fact, we can get different frequencies in the plate. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, it looks similar, but if you know, these go to the corners, this goes to the middle. Wow. Okay. Because it was so a lower tone? It's a lower tone. And so what happens is as the plate's vibrating, the sand moves away from the regions that are vibrating and it moves towards those that are standing still. So the plate is actually undulating in different ways. Sure. Depending on the frequency. It reminds me of Jurassic Park. Load me up again. All right. So. What's, what's really nice about this is different shapes of plates will vibrate in different ways. And this is a little dog bone here. Okay. Let's see if I can get this one really simply. Oh, it's just man. got one line right down the center. Load me up again. All right. Don't ever put that thing down. You're going to keep <laughs> sprinkling sand all day here. All right. So when you get back from the beach, just bust out the bow and you can brush all the sand off in an orderly fashion. So if we excite <laughs> it near the end, that's pretty good. Okay. Maybe. There we go. Wow. Well, seeing some ellipses there. Some though. ellipses, perhaps. Or we can go right back to the straight line, which always works really wow. well. So my favorite one, though, is not any of these. It's this sort of rounded rectangle. Okay. Hold this up again. Doing it. Um, again, back in the 1700s, um, Claudney, was a German physicist, came up with this idea. This makes really oh, man, is a that cool. cool pattern, right? Yeah. And this is how you'd do it back in the 1700s. You'd have a bow. Today, we have things called speakers. Okay. So load me up again. All right. So I brought me with a little speaker. And with the speaker, you can actually dial in a specific frequency. That's that, pretty good. That's good. That's okay. good. So we'll put it right on the driver here, unlock it, and we can turn this up. Right at one frequency, you get those lines. But if we change, you can see we're starting to get those lines down the center. We get more of a square. That way. Or we can go back to the along the long axis. <laughs> so, and it's very, very sensitive. I don't know if you can see, just a slight change in the frequency will make a big That's difference right. in the pattern. It, it also sounds like the beginning of the kick start my heart, but it's not. It does. <laughs> it does. So, I mean, this is useful if you're designing musical instruments, violins, cellos, guitars, and you want to understand how the back plate is moving. I mean, it's a difference between a sweet sounding instrument or a sour sounding one, oh, right? So yeah. there's some really actual use for studying how metal plates vibrate. Right. And you get just some really cool patterns as that well. That is really cool, like a Stradivarius kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. I'm sure he didn't do that. Well, maybe he did. They do. They, the do, they do yeah, something yeah. similar like right. this to Sand examine how the plates. It. Yeah. All and right. they're, they're more complex. They're not flat plates. They have depth to them as well, and they taper near the ends. And so crafting a good musical instrument does depend on some physics as well. It's a science. It All is. All right. Well, hey, if you also want to check out the Science Center, they have Mythbusters, the explosive exhibition. It is right now at the Imagination Station. It goes all the way until January 10th. But don't wait until then. Just get on down there and check it out. Especially today. Lucas County residents 12 and under get in free with a paid adult admission. All Come right. down, do that, check out Mythbusters What as well. a deal. Thanks yeah. very much, Carl. Sure. That's this week's Imagine It. We're going to turn it now over to the guys with sports.